I've been carrying the 19X as an EDC for the last several days, um, just because I like the 19X quite a bit. And um, I, uh, I'm kind of making this video on a whim, um, just because I noticed something with my uh, SCS reticle here on the, uh, the Glock 19 Gen 5. Um, and there's nothing wrong with the reticle itself. It's uh, the, the dot exactly how I want it. <clears throat> but what I've noticed suddenly is that the uh, the function button no longer works. Uh, you were able to like cycle through and turn off the reticle if you want to. Um, but uh, as you can see here, as I pressed it down, it doesn't respond at all. Um, I've done as much as I could to even to press it with like uh, other items and things. It, just, it doesn't work anymore. And uh, looks like some of the gel is actually kind of seeping out a little bit of that when I press it down too much. So I might have cut through some of that. So it's not a huge deal just because you're not necessarily supposed to turn that off. It, uh, it's got a 20,000 uh, uh, hour battery life. So it's something like two years or something just in pitch blackness and it's constantly like recycling through light um, and recharging. So not the biggest deal in the world, but uh, the only thing that I was going to say is that um, I'm not sure exactly why that happened. Um, I carried it uh, quite a bit for the last several years, um, constantly pressed up on, against my body, and I don't know if that did something to the actual function button itself. I don't think so, but something to at least um, be aware of. I've uh, checked online with it. I've uh, seen a few people um, that have had the same issues, but uh, not really sure why. But uh, I'm not going to worry about it just yet. But as of now, um, uh, have been carrying that 19X um, as far as my EDC. Why? Um, well, there's several reasons. Um, I go back to the 19X quite a bit because the 19X is such a flat shooting, excellent point of aim pistol. Um, truth be told, uh, there's something about uh, pointing it that um, it directly gets uh, my point of aim each time, even better than the, uh, the Gen 5 19 does. So um, the, the, the gun just shoots flatter. Uh, everything about it seems to be just smoother and nicer. Um, the reloads, all of that. So I've been using it as my, as my uh, concealed carry and uh, it's been working kind of well. And I'm kind of going uh, to the 19X as you know, my, uh, my kind of go-to gun. Um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about um, why the 19X is kind of considered, even among, you know, Glock haters and things like that, to be the best uh, Glock that uh, Glock's made. Um, so this video will be kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, several things at once here because I'm going to just mention several things that are kind of off the top of my head as far as um, things are concerned regarding Glock. One is that uh, the innovation thing. Why doesn't Glock innovate? Um, the reason Glock doesn't innovate is because Glock still is owned by Gaston Glock. Gaston's still alive, and he's the CEO of that company. I mean, he, he whatever he says goes. So if he doesn't want to do something, the company can't go against his wishes and do something that he doesn't want to do. He, he owns that company. So um, as far as innovation is concerned, I don't think it's because Glock as a company itself is resting on its laurels. I think Gaston kind of has like the last say in that. Um, that's my opinion. I mean, I'm not, I don't know for sure, but it seems to be something that's, uh, uh, that's come up before. I know the, uh, the, the, the polymer, uh, Gaston has a thing for the polymer uh, mags. Like the, the mags, even if they have reinforced metal on the inside, they have to be polymer uh, on the outside. It's one of the things that he's kind of adamant about. Um, and that might be due to cost effectiveness, uh, you know, just the ruggability of them, I'm not sure. Ruggedness, ruggedability is what I want. Uh, anyway, um, but the 19X, um, obviously people know that it was the, the, the gun that Glock put in through the, uh, the military trials for their sidearm, and it came down to the Glock 19X and the Sig Sauer P320 as the two head-to-head -head guns that were trying to buy at the very end for the contract. The P320 won that out for reasons that Glock filed some lawsuits for, 
and six, seventh day, sixth day, and that sort of thing. So we're talking about considering underbidding um, the U.S. government money wise. Um, I think they, the SIG underbid the Glock, I think, by like a couple million dollars or something like that. Let's see. Let's see. Anyway, history made. The military went and they went with the, the P320. Uh, a lot of people feel that the, the Glock 19X is kind of like the, the actual winner of those trials. I would tend to agree just because I've owned and shot a 320 for a bit, um, put it through a lot of paces, and um, I wasn't that impressed uh, with it uh, near the end of its run. <clears throat> so getting back on track. So a lot of people say that you can't conceal the Glock 19X, it's too big, it's got that 17, Glock 17 frame, the Glock 19 slide, and I think that um, you can conceal it just fine. I'm concealing the Glock 19X on me right now. Um, it doesn't print. Uh, you really can't see anything on there. It's really no different, no different than the 43X or a 19. Um, and the reason is because of the type of holster that you're wearing. Okay, a lot of people want to run these uh, T-Rex arms, uh, you know, sidecar holsters that kind of push out and print. Um, and they're great because they're fast. You can draw your shirt and get you know your shots off target real quick. But they're not that concealable per se for larger guns. Um, I'm wearing a just a you know generic Mission First Tactical uh, leather Kydex holster with a uh, a clip, a uh, ulti clip um, that clips onto the inside of the jeans underneath the belt, and you can basically tuck your shirt, and it looks fine. And this is literally just form-fitting clothes. It's nothing real baggy, and. I still have the ability to pull my gun and to conceal an entire 19X. So, and this gun is empty, of course. So, here's the video. So the 19X, uh, very concealable in my position, extremely shootable, and I'm not gonna get into the minutia of why it's such a good uh, shootable gun. Obviously, you've got uh, you know a, a very good purchase with your your grip and frame, the shorter slide gives you just a very controllable um, platform to shoot that comes back on target quite a bit. But I kind of want to go some, over some of the features kind of internally that people don't talk about with the 19X uh, of why um, it makes the gun so reliable and, and, and so um, interesting as, as a Glock uh, that's offered to the market. First and foremost, um, everybody talks about the Glock sights. Everybody hates Glock sights. And this was the first gun that they, they sold to market that came standard with their steel night sights. So steel night sights from the 19X. Apparently the 45, um, you still get those uh, polymer plastic sights that everybody loathes. I don't know why um, they do that. When they can do this, uh, I think honestly, this proves that Glock can sell iron night sights on their guns without ratcheting up the price or anything, so why not do that? The 19X does have that. Another thing that the 19X actually has internally that makes it more, in my opinion, more reliable <clears throat> than even some of the other Glocks that a lot of people may not know is the uh, Maritime Spring Cups that are inside it. The Glock 19X comes standard with the Maritime Spring Cups that are basically uh, for uh, preventing hydroplaning if the gun is submerged in like water, mud, that kind of thing. So while the regular stock Glocks that don't have those generally run pretty well um, when they're wet and they're muddy or, or you know if they're dirty, uh, the 19X having those Maritime Spring Cups make the gun work that much better even when it's underwater um, it can actually cycle underwater at sometimes. Uh, it has no problem during in, in mud, uh, with sand, that kind of thing. It's, it's a lot more of a, um, a reliable internal um, when you're actually shooting it. And that's because the maritime spring cups are cut in a certain way so that if water does get into the, uh, the firing pin channel uh, chamber, it can actually push it out and not hydroplane, not get locked in. Um, with uh, the way that the other spring cups work. So that's actually a big deal. So 
For this gun, you're actually getting a much more reliable uh, combative pistol because you have metal night sights that come standard right out of the box. You've got the Maritime Spring Cups that are inside um, to make it that much more uh, workable and reliable when it comes to dirt, mud, water, submerged, that kind of thing. Um, it's a combat pistol. So and it was made specifically for combat in war, war zones and that kind of a thing. So um, the trigger on the 19X to me is uh, the best trigger that Glock has. Um, technically this is a Gen 5 gun, it's a Gen 5 trigger, but there's something about this particular trigger, <clears throat> and again, this is an empty gun, um, there's something about this trigger that makes it, to me, in my opinion, a lot more crisp. This, it's, it seems almost like a three and a half pound break. Okay, right here, I'm gonna get right to that wall right there. So there's not a whole lot of take up. And then all I have to do is just, as I'm pushing down, it's a very crisp click, and then the reset is right here. Okay. Very, very nice, smooth trigger. Um, to me, doesn't really have a whole lot of grit or anything to it. Um, so, uh, it has the other functions of the Generation 5, 19. It doesn't have front slide serrations. To be perfectly honest, I prefer it without the front slide serrations. I think that I can get just a better purchase on it. It kind of sticks to my my skin more if I'm going to do a press check and I kind of like the overall look of it without the the front serrations on it and that's just my opinion but you know it is what it is um, the another interesting thing about the 19x is what I'm going to go out on a limb and say the modularity of it and people talk about modularity it was modular that's why that's why it won the, the the military contract if you actually have a 19x and say a uh, a generation 5 19 this can because it is a uh, generation 5 slide will fit right onto a Glock 19 gen 5 frame Okay. So now, this was my old Gen 5 19 frame. Now we've got a Glock 19 Gen 5 with you know, two-tone slide with metal night sights, with the Maritime Spring Cups. And now if you want a smaller package, you know, you can conceal that just a little bit better depending on what kind of holster that you have. Also has kind of a nice little two-tone look to it. That rust um, coyote brown is really kind of cool with the black. Um, but, you know, I like just the overall coyote brown that uh, the 19X comes in. But, and again, um, to me, that's, that's, that's rather modular, all right? Not as modular as taking a chassis out and putting it into something else, but, I mean... For those that say that it wasn't modular, you can do a lot of things with it. So, anyway, that is kind of my, um, my thing for the, the 19X. Uh, definitely a pistol that I want to run as my EDC. Why? Um, we're, uh, I'm thinking quite a bit these days of just like unrest you know, SHTF type situations. And I want a pistol that really is going to serve both as an EDC and a go-to-war pistol, something that I don't have to change out whatever, whatsoever. Uh, the 19X fills that slot quite a bit. Um, it is definitely something that I would take uh, in a, you know, there are no rules, shit hits the fan situation, uh, you know, without rule of law type of a thing. That's the handgun that I would want. I can still use this handgun as just an everyday carry piece uh, that fits well, that's comfortable. Um, I can use it at night. It's got its night, its night sights on there. Um, I can mill it out if I want to, to get an optic, but I don't even think that that's necessarily 
necessary, especially in a, in a situation like that. Um, I think that it's just an overall uh, incredible pistol, and the way that it shoots for me, like I said, there's something about the 19X that when I pull this out, I'm right on target. Those sights are completely lined up at all times. It just points. It's just natural point of aim for me, um, even more so than the uh, the smaller 19 Gen 5. So, uh, but again, that's neither here nor there. That's just me. But 19X is definitely one of my preferred carry guns and probably uh, one of the kind of glocks that I will never going to sell. I believe it is an incredible, uh, uh, incredible weapon for the price that they're asking for it. You can get them roughly around $550 to $650 um, US dollars. So again, and it, it, it's just something that I think is a very, very good um, product. And again, you know, to go back to the, the, the concealed carry aspect of it, if you have the right kind of holster, the right kind of setup, you're not going to run into the risk of printing and having it so that you can't, you can't conceal it on a daily basis. I think concealing it is actually quite easy. Okay. You may not have a, a quick draw holster, right? It's going to just sit here with a bunch of stuff up here because yeah, that will print depends on what you want. But if you conceal it, you know, the way that you want, you know, just walking around naturally, I don't believe that there's really anything that people are going to see more so than a 19 or, you know, a 43 X or any of the other pistols. It really depends on how you uh, go about your business. So anyway, that's really it. Um, so that's the video. Um, I just wanted to say that about the 19X. I think it's a great gun, very concealable if you do it right, and um, just versatile um, for an everyday carry weapon to a shit hits the fan weapon, uh, a go to war weapon, um, something that's got clicks all the boxes or something that you would like um, as, a, as, as a gun that will save your life. Um, Big reason that I want to carry it. Um, I know that the government is trying to uh, pass bills and stuff to uh, to limit your uh, your your carry ammo um, so that you can't have 15 round mags. So in order to comply with that, I'm going to carry the 19x because I get 20 rounds and 20 rounds is not 15. So I want I want to I want to comply with that. Um, so that's another reason. Anyway, um, you guys have a good time. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. This stuff is just my opinion. My opinion probably doesn't matter. But I still love the 19X. Have a good one.